Hi all of you, hope you guys are great and welcome back to this amazing project. So this is where we left in the last video. I believe that you have watched the last video in that we have built all the functionality of our chat GTP. So if you haven't watched, make sure to watch it. Then you can continue from here. So now we're going to work on our chat page. So here we are. Now come back here in the component. Inside the component, we have this three component. Authentication, chat and home. This one is going to be our landing page. And now we're going to work on our chat page. So let's come back here in the index file and let's quickly import all the components. So import chatting and that's coming from the same directory. Then we have to import the sidebar coming from the same directory. Then we have to import the chat. Then we have to import the help component. Now we have to import the history component. And then we have to import the subscription component. After that, we have to import the setting component and then we have to import the form components. So these are the couple of components we have. And the last one is the model component. It's model component. So these are the components we have, which we're going to use in our chat page. Now let's export that. So chat, chatting, sidebar, help history subscription setting form and the last one is the model so these are the component exports we are doing pretty good everything's looking good we have no issue so far pretty good close this one close this one and now we can come back here so let's close that one come back to the pages go to the chat page and here we have to import the components so come here let's do the internal import we have to call the component called chatting component and the for model component and that's coming from the component slash chat index so we got the component and now we have to inject the component here so we'll take the chatting component then we'll take the model component and we have to import the script which we have developed for our open ai so let's call the let's come here let's call script and now we can import the script and this script is coming from the public folder so let me close that one. We have to provide the type module and the location of the file is in the script.js. So it's coming from the public folder and that's what we have built in the last video. So let's comment out this for a time being. Let's build the entire UI part. Then we're going to simply connect this functionality. Click on this chatting and come to this component. And now we're going to start building this chatting component first. So let's open up your terminal and let's start the application to see that everything's working. So we'll type npm run dev it will start our application and here you can see our metamask popped up means everything is working fine whatever setup we have done in the last video so let's close this one and let's do one thing let's go back to the next page so it's taking a little bit time let's go to the next page the chat page this one is the index page let's call it chat and here we are so we have no issue so far everything is good and here you can see model and we have connected successfully so come back here let's make it side by side and now we can start working on our ui component so let's cut this one reload the browser and things are looking so far and things are looking fine we have no issues now let's do one thing let's start importing a couple of things from so let's import the icons and we have already installed the packages the react icons packages so let's import that and this one is coming from bi then we have to import our icon. This comes to react icon slash MD. We'll take this MD paid icon. Then we'll come here. We'll do some internal import. Import and we have to import the component and these coming from the index, the same directory. We need the form component. Then we have to import our context and that's coming from the context index. So if you come back here, Go back to the context and now we have to simply drag and simply copy this name so this is the one we are exporting from here and that's what we have to import and that way we can easily able to make the call right here in this component looks good come here and now we have to take a couple of state variable so we can come here we'll say state variable so let's take that so first we have to import the use state and use effect 
user effect and now we can take the variable we'll take this call active and we'll say ask anything this is the first state variable now we have to take another one and this will be hidden let's make it true and make it capital let's take another one and this will call pro member and by default it's going to be an object because all the information when the user will take the membership we're going to store into this particular object then we'll take another one and this will call free trial in this we're going to keep the track of user free trial and now we have to manage our state so we have to get some information our from our context so we'll take this we'll call our context and from there we can take this information free and we'll take the address of the user so these are the state variable we have now we can come now we have to build a couple of functions so we'll say const close it will take an event and inside that we're going to simply prevent the default behavior then we're going to simply call this particular function set hidden false so that's the very first function we have now we have to call take create a list of the navigation the menus so let's call product list and in that we have to take an array and we have to define all the product all the services we want to provide like coding generator all of the things so let's take that we'll call ask anything the second one will be content writer third one is code generator four one is translate anything then we have social media after that we have email generator then we have personal advice after that we have password generator then we have travel hangout and on the last one we have ac writer so that's the entire product and the list we have looks pretty good so we have got our function we got our menus now we can come here we can create a function called load data and this function going to load the data from our local storage so what we'll do here first we'll say cons user detail and this detail will come from the local storage so we'll call it local storage dot get item and this is the key pair we have provided i hope you guys have watched the last video and that i have covered this extensively so we have to provide the key pair and then we have to get the data so we'll call it member and we have to simply parse the data so we'll pass that user details and then we have to simply set this data to the user pro member and i'm getting this particular error message okay i know the issue so simply come here provide this bracket and that looks fine so that's the one and now we have to work on the free trial so we'll again we'll say free trial we have to get that information from the local storage we'll call it free trial so after every single request user will make on our chat api we're going to going to count that how many requests he or she has made and that information we're going to store in our local storage and from there we're going to hide or free or the paid trial so let's set that information in our state variable so that looks good now we have to take this console and we can simply see that in our terminal so that's the function which is ready and now we have to call this function after every single page reload so we'll take this hook and we're going to call the function and it's going to be an empty array so that's the entire function for loading the data now we can start working on our other thing so we can come here we can take a variable called display we have to take a variable and now we have the information about the free trial so we're going to learn all this we have to simply replace the double quote around the string so we can display this particular information in our front end ui so again this is the bracket which you have to provide global and double quote so this will remove the double quotes from the string and we'll have this particular variable in that display so things are looking pretty fine so we have the state variable we have this function then we have the product list and this is the load data and here we are calling the function and here we are simply removing the double string from the trial one things are looking good now we can simply start working on our jsx part simply remove this one take a div it will have a class called tab 
pan fade show and active so these are the classes we are using and again all the css files are already provided to you in the strala file so if you haven't got that make sure to get it and so we can start falling together so these are the classes i'm getting from the glue css file <clears throat> so we'll take an id chat and it will have a role called table panel it will have a aerial labeled by chat and we'll have a tab index to zero because we're going to have multiple component and we're going to simply open one component at a time so that's how we're going to manipulate the data so inside that we'll take a div it will have a class called main wrapper inside that we'll take a nav and in that we're going to keep our navigation so it will have a class called nav and then say nav toggle we'll have a d none inside that let's have a type not type of type and the type will be button and we'll say data ds toggle to is going to be collapse it will have a ds data bs it will say target and we want to simply target the nav bar and we'll have a aerial controls is going to be nav bar and we'll have a aerial expanded to false and the last one is going to be aerial label to toggle navigation so these are the property we are assigning to our navigation so we can simply close and open so it looks pretty good now what i can do is uh, actually i did a mistake so come here we have to simply do the changes here so here we're going to take a nav and it will have a class called nav bar nav bar dash expand large and background light and padding zero so this is the navbar simply cut and paste here and this one is going to be button simply change this to button inside that we'll take our icon so we'll take this bi menu and the reason it's not displaying because we are just using the responsive mode so we are hiding this particular button in the in the mobile device so just code along with me everything will make sense and you will find everything is working absolutely great so it's look good our button components are ready now we can go ahead we'll take a div it will have a class called collapse navbar collapse and it will have an id called navbar then we'll take a div it will have a class called inner menu panel inside that we'll take another button it will have a data attribute we'll say bs toggle and it will collapse it will have a data bs target and it will have an id called navbar and it will have a class called inner close and d block d large none inside that we'll take this back text so so far things are looking good no issues we have here so it looks good now we can come here we'll take a div it will have a class called let's say search box inside that we'll take a icon it will have a class called icon sec and will have a data attribute i data icon search and normal to and then we'll have our input fill class form control it will have a placeholder search here and thus looks good so far things are taking good now we can come here and we can take a ul tag and we'll take this class in a link links list and it will have an id called inner link inside that we'll take our product list the entire navigation and we're going to simply loop over it so we'll say map product index and we have to simply render that so we'll take a li it will have a key i plus index then it will provide a on click function so we have to change the update the active state of our application and then we'll simply call this one set active and in that we're going to simply pass the product means the active menu and we'll have a class call let's say let's make it dynamic so we'll say product if it's equal to the active then we have to make that particular menu active otherwise empty so that's how our our information would look like so you can see this is the side navigation which we're going to build and here we have the input fill and this is the main body so it's divided in three category everything is looking so far so good now what we can do is we can simply render the product the menu so we'll take this anchor tag and we'll take that one and it will have a data title to the ask anything and here we're going to simply take the product 
the sorry the product yeah product the menu list save it and here we got it so things are looking fine you can see on over effect on click event we are making active and changing the active state on the click event so this looks pretty good so things are looking good here so looks pretty good now now we have to come here so simply do one thing simply give this comment nav bar start close and copy this one and paste here this one is nav bar end so this is the first component we have worked now work on the body component so we can call it nav bar header start simply copy that one and paste here end so in that we'll take a div it will have a class called chat header inside that we'll take a div it will have a class called head d flex align item center will have a gap two pixels inside that we'll take a button it will have a class called nav bar toggle and we'll have called d medium none and we'll have a d block and it will have a type button and we have to assign the attribute data attribute we'll say bs toggle and that's going to be called collapse so this is what i have so what i can do is i have already we have already done this one okay so simply copy this properties from here and that's what we can simply pass in this particular button so simply copy and paste here now we have to change the value so this one becomes the main nav bar And this one is also a main nav bar and the rest would be fine so let me see one more time things are looking good no issue we have inside that we have to take our icon so we'll take this bm menu and we can assign our class so we'll say mobile custom menu so that looks good you can see our header section is displaying pretty fine and looks good somehow the icon is not displaying but because the icon we have built that's one is for the mobile device so it's hidden on the desktop looks good so that's looks pretty good now we can come here we can take our anchor and we can say let's redirect to the home page and we can add a class called logo icon we'll take d flex d medium none and inside that we'll take our image we'll take the asset go to the asset folder slash we have to go to the csv folder and then we have to get our csv icon the logo and I believe that you guys can understand that from where I'm getting this images, this asset folder into our public. And from there we are getting it. I show you this multiple time. Let's assign a class called image fluid. And that looks good. That's the image. Come back here. Take a H3 and we can say this ID target dev. And inside that we have to display our active state means the active service. So still nothing in here. So I reload the browser and things are looking pretty good. No issues we have here. Simply do the inspect element and this will display on the mobile device. So you can see here we have in the mobile device, but there is something, something wrong with that. So it's, it doesn't look like it. So I have to do the changes. So let's do one more inspect element. So, okay, so here I made a mistake. So this is the button. I have to simply cut this button. So just do one thing. Cut this button and paste here and that will work fine so come here we'll take a div it will have a class called header option and inside that we'll take this display the value we have generated and we'll say this if display equal to pro member then we have to dis play this particular component we'll take this anchor and it will have a href and we have to display this particular data display means if the user have taken the membership then we have to display the pro membership that you are a pro membership but else we have to display the the free trial message so in that we can take this if we'll say delete button and we'll say data cursor it will have the property called pointer and it will have the hf to none and in that we can simply display our message so we can take this free left and we'll say let's say take a span inside that we'll take this id and we'll say free trial and this is the id we have target in our javascript file so i hope you guys have followed the last video and in that we have to simply display so 
0. If there is a free value in our state, then display that. Otherwise, we have to display 0. And looks pretty good. And now you can see it's perfectly aligned in the mobile device, but still the styles are not applied on the icons. So maybe I forgot to add some classes. So the rest would be fine. You can see our free trial is also looking absolutely fine. And this is also looking fine. Pretty good. Rid of the browser and things are looking good. So no issues we have here. Now we can simply come here. We'll take a anchor and we'll take this. It will have a class called premium button. It will have an ID called subscription subscriptions button and it will have a data attribute to cursor and we'll pass the property to call let's say pointer and we'll say href we don't need to take that because we don't want to redirect anywhere we'll take this md paid and we'll display our icon with a text message get premium and here you can see it looks pretty cool we have our icon and we have our test looks pretty good this one is also looking fine. Now come back here. Now we have to work on the body tag. So come here. We'll, we'll simply come back here and we'll take a div. It will have a class called main chat. Inside that we'll take a div. It will have a class called no chat. Inside that we'll take our dynamic block. So we'll say if there is no chat means the user haven't asked any question then we want to hide the image sorry display the image but if user have asked any questions and our AI is responding then we have to hide the image so we'll say if hide is true so if hide is true then we have to display this particular component so it will have an image and we have to display this hard code image means you can add ask the question to our chatbot and we'll have a class called image fluid and save it and we will display our heading tag it will have a let's say it will have our text called active and we'll say if active is equal to ask anything then this display nothing otherwise we can display call ask remove this one looks pretty fine so this is the first but if it's false then we can simply display this empty string so that looks fine if I save it, if you come back to the browser, you can see everything is perfectly aligned and we got our image back. So it looks pretty good. Things are looking good. So that looks pretty good. So far, things are looking good. And now we have to work on our form component, the input field, so the user can type their text and we can send the response back. Our AI will respond back. So let's come here, let's take a div. It will have a class called it will have an ID called chat container and inside that we're going to populate the data dynamically. So this is the class we have assigned in our JavaScript and that's what we are targeting. So it's going to be an empty div. We don't need to pass. We are passing with the help of dynamic. So we'll come here. We'll take a form and in that we have to send the props. So we have to send the props like close function. Then we have to send the props like pro member data. Then we have to send the address of the user. And we have to send the free trial. So these are the props we are sending in our form component. And that's the only thing we have to do here. So if I save it, hope so far things are looking good to all of you guys. So these are the imports and export we have done. So right now we have nothing here. And still we have this problem in the icon. So we have to fix that. But the rest would be fine. The images are fine. The header is fine. The logo is fine. So come back here and let's try to see what's the problem we have and I can see the problem it's having in right here so let's come up here and this is the problem here so here we have the problem so you can see that this is called navbar toggle it's called navbar toggler okay t-o-g-g-l-e-r toggler so I stopped the recording for a while and I was trying to find out that what went wrong so you can see that if you make one spelling mistake it's created a huge problem or it changed the entire <laughs> structure of your application for 15 minutes and then I found this particular issue so this is the one issue we have and I have one more issue to fix so here we have to provide the class to our icon so let's call it a mobile dash custom menu so these are the two changes you have to do 
exchange and come back here in 116 number line and we have the one more button and here we have to do the same changes okay toggler so make sure to change the toggler in two places and provide the class in the icon you can see here we have provided that one so these are the two changes you have to do save it and come back here and now you can see that our classes are applied if you come here it looks pretty fine if you do the inspect element things are looking fine and looks good looks pretty good so we have imported we have built the functions and this is the nav bar this is the body component we have and this is the chat component we have so far things are looking pretty good we have no issues in that and now we're going to start working on our form component so simply close that one close that one close that one close this one come back here and go back to the components and here we have all the files go back to the components go back to the chat inside that we have the form so this is the sidebar so before we start working on the form let's work on the sidebar first okay let's work on the sidebar first so this is the icon we have to display here so what we can do here here now so let's import a couple of things from react we have to get the icons so it's coming from the react slash bs means bootstrap and we have to take the icons called bs fill chat fill we'll take this bs questions square and we'll take this bs star so these are the three icon we are taking simply come here we have to import more we'll take this react icon slash bi and that we have to import this bi transaction transaction transfer alt and make this bi menu we'll come here we have to import the react icon slash and this time comes from medium we'll take this medium ped and we'll take this md settings we'll take the md close so these are the icons we got it now we have to, what we have now we start working on our j6 so take this dynamic block and in that we'll take this nav bar it will have a class called nav bar nav bar dash expand medium it will have a padding zero inside that will have a button and again we have taken that button so we can come back to the chatting so chatting and here we have the button and we need all of the property we have assigned to our button so simply find out the button we have here simply copy this entire button and that's what we can simply paste here replace this one and here we have to do a little bit changes so the name is going to be the same here we have the nav bar it's going to be a main nav bar and simply copy and that's what we have to paste here so this is the change we have to do and that is to be fine and here we have to change the icon so what icon we can call it menu and that's what we have called so we don't need to do the icon change the icon so we are done with the button now we have to work on the other component we'll take a div it will have a class called collapse enter that we'll take another class called nav bar collapse it will have an id called main nav bar nav inside that we'll take a div it will have a class called main nav bar main nav collapse close main nav close it will have a d block and we'll say d medium dash num and it will have a data attribute called bs toggle and it will say close collapse it will have a data bs target and it will have the property called main nav bar and i notice one thing that mm, it will be apply on a button not on a div so what I can do is come back here and change this to a button. Come here, we'll take a div. It will have a class called menu, panel, cut and paste here. So definitely you will commit this kind of mistake. I do all the time. So come here, that's the button we have. Inside that we have to display our icon, the close. And we can simply provide a class called icon custom. And it will have an anchor. So we have to take a class called logo, icon, it will have a D none and it will have a D medium flex. Inside that we'll take our image and we'll take the image means we have to display our logo. We'll take the logo icon dash icon dot SVG. It will have a class called image fluid and save it. This looks pretty fine. 
so cut this button and we have to paste here this image will be out of the button and that looks pretty good now we can come here we'll take a ul it will have a class called navbar navbar tabs and menu wrapper so this is how you can assign multiple classes i believe that you can guys can learn this shortcuts so oh, open this one it will have an id called my tab and it will have the role called tab list inside that we have to take the li it will have a class called nap item it will have a data attribute called bs toggle and in that we have to call this tool tip it will have a data attribute called data bs placement and we can call this to write it will have a data another bs title and the title is going to be a chat it will have the role we'll say presentations and that's the entire data we have to assign so that's the entire attribute we have to assign to our li and inside that we have to simply come here and come back here in the chat thing and we have to grab few things so come back here come back here and inside that we can simply paste the button okay copy the button and paste here and here we have to do the changes so we have to remove this classes it will be called nab link and the first one is going to be have the ft class so by default we want to open the very first one the chat one and this will be called tab and this will be chat and what does i have to do the changes so simply remove this one so it looks pretty good it will have a role called tab it will have a aerial control to chat it will have a aerial selected to true and that these are the property you have to assign and here we have to change the icon so it will be bs fill chat fill and the class would be icon custom and we have a spam in that we have to display our text we'll call it chat so that's the first li and what we have to do is we have to simply replicate this six times so this is the first one for our chat so simply close this one and copy and replicate couple of time so replicate at least six time so the first one we have is a chat one so this one is going to be probably the history so let's remove this no what we can do is um, let's change this to history and let's bring that css class back and this is the first one which is a chat one okay no issues we have in the first one and we have to do the changes in the second one so we have to remove this active classes from the second one and this is the chat and this one is going to be history okay so this one is history and now we have to change the name in other places so this one is also gonna be history okay select this two only with a small h and this will be history so this is the second one and we have to change the icon to call bi transfer alt so that's the history one we have now this will be call subscription and here we have to do the changes simply make it small and this will be small subscriptions and here we have to change subscription and the icon star so this one is the sub third one is a subscription one this one is will be let's call it to help and change this small and small and this will be help and this will be call bs question square and this will be the ratings and looks good so far and here we have to do the changes so we this will also be called model because this time we don't need to open the component we have to trigger our model component we we're going to build that so model and here we have to pass the static backdrop and remove this three properties and remove this active state so that's the only thing you have to do and here we have to provide the button class and button call let's say primary and that looks fine and here we have to change the icon to md paid and this will call upgrade so user can click and it will open the pop-up model and user can take the memberships from there looks good 
so this is the one we have now we can change this other one so this will call setting and this will be setting and here we can call it setting we can take the setting item and this one is also setting so this is the entire and we have these two extra so simply remove this so this is the entire sidebar and still nothing is displaying why so why it's not displaying okay there is some problem so come here in the chatting and what I have noticed that instead of writing the entire code we have written in the chatting we have to write in the chat so this is the problem I faced so we have to write here so what I can, can do come back in chatting and simply copy this entire code because this code will go into the chat component and we have to paste here okay simply change the name to chat and that's the change you have to do now you can come back to the chatting and you can simply replace this one type RAFCE and we have to import the component so this one is going to be the main component of our chat page so we have to import the do the internal import so we need the let's say we need the components and that's coming from the same directory we need the sidebar we need the chat okay I call chat let's come back to the index and let's remove this extra T and come here and that looks fine let's remove this extra T let's import the help import the history and we import the subscription and the setting so we got all the component and now we can simply place all the component here so we'll take this instant return and we'll take a section it will have a class called chatting wrapper padding zero then we'll display our sidebar component then we can simply come here we'll take a div it will have a class called tab content inside that we have to display all the components so chat history subscription help and we have to display the last one which is the setting so that looks fine so these are the changes you have to do okay so now you can see we are back how it was looking before and still the sidebars are not displaying means we have done something wrong in the classes so let's try to find out the problem so I found the problem instead of N A V E B E R we have to say V A so this is the A you have to assign A and here we have to type A so if you do these changes in the sidebar component the spelling it will reflect the one and I can see we have all the icons are showing and some of the icons are in active mode so we have to change their active state so this is the one change you have to do and the other changes you have to do here so remove this active state from them uh, so come back here let's find out one so this is the one let's remove this from the subscription and close this one now we have to remove from the help close this one and now we have to remove from the let's say this one is not there from the last one which is the setting and save it and you can see right now we have only one active one still the click event is not taking place means still we have some issues but the stylings are taking place you can see that but if I do the inspect element you can see right now we have this and this is how it's going to look on a desktop so still our JavaScript uh, and the event we have included in the components is not working means we have done something wrong but you can see the text are displaying and we are calling ask and it's changing Okay, there is a lot of work we have to do but gradually everything is coming together so we have to do a little bit changes still here in this sidebar component which I'll do later first start working on the other component so let's start working on the form component and still we have some problem in our sidebar component so we're gonna fix that out but before we start working on the sidebar let's work on the form component simply import couple of things so we need to import the icon and we'll take the react icon slash bi then I will simply copy and replicate a couple of times and change the name so this will be AI and this will be empty and now we have to import the icon so this will call BI menu and here we have to import call MD send and here we have the last one called AI fill audio and AI fill picture so these are the four icons we are using now we have to receive the props we have sent into the form component so we have this close pro member with capital M and we have to take this address so, and the last one is free trial so these are the four props we are sending into our form component come here we'll take a variable called today because we have to get the current time 
so we can use that current time to match subscription is over means the subscription days is over then the current time means user have to renew so let's take the current date so we'll say date dot now and now we have to call date call new date dot now and in that we have to pass the date so it will give us the date in the format and now we have to simply format the date in the in your preferred preferred language so i will go with the english us okay so we'll say data dot local data string and in that i have to pass this english us you can pick any other format there's are tons of format and this will give you the date so let's rename this one so that looks pretty good we got the expiry date now we can start working on the jsx so simply remove that one we'll take a form okay why it's coming in this color take a form and close this one is will have a id we'll say form input data it will have a class called msger input area and inside that we'll take our dynamic block because we have to create two input field one for the subscription check and the other one is for the fee trial just code along with me so we'll say pro member means the address is there in the pro member so whenever the user will buy the membership that data we are storing in our local storage so we'll try to match the pro member address to the current address so if his address is there in the local storage means the user have bought the membership but it's not there that means he hasn't bought the membership and we have to display our free trial so we'll say pro member address user equal to the address current address and if the pro member expiry date is not equal to this expiry date and then only we have to display this component so first we have to check for the address which matches after that we have to check for the expiry date if both the conditions are true then we have to display this component otherwise we don't want to display that so we'll take this else we'll display nothing so we'll come here and we come back to the chat and here we have built a couple of things so we need this button take this button copy and paste here so we have the button and here we have to do a little bit changes so remove this one and we'll take this d large none d block and merger send no remove that msgr dash send and button and this will be the fine and this will have some different size so we'll say icon size and looks good so, so this is the button we have now we have to remove this actually we don't need this one because here we are using different models so we remove this one now we have to take the second component we'll take the input field it will have a name called prompt and this name is very important because this name will trigger our form submit and this is the name we are targeting in our html in our javascript to get the data from the input field and make a request to our api so we'll take call it prompt and we'll take the class called msg input placeholder is going to be ask anything ask any questions and we'll say here so this is the input field it will have a row so let's give one and let's give a column in case if you want to change this to area and make it big input field it's totally up to you so that's the input now we can take an anchor and we'll take a class called mic icon and it will have our mic fill audio and it will have a class called icon size simply replicate it one more time for the pictures and this will be called let's call it picture and this will be audio save it come back here and now we have to take another button for actual click event so we'll take a class called ms gear send button and inside that we'll take our icon md send it will have a class called icon size and here we'll have a type called submit and it will also have our on click function which we have built so in that we're going to simply call our close functions and that we'll pass the event so that's the entire thing you have to do save it and uh, let's have a look and here we are getting this error okay my bad sorry so this is the error message we are getting because we are calling this now now twice so come here and we have to simply remove this now and that will fix the issue save it and here you can see our input fields are displaying but here we have the problem in the icon they are overlapping so that's a very easy fix maybe 
this that's the overfix so let's have a look in the classes so we can come back in the icon section and here we have to do the changes in the class so this is the first one mic and this one is going to be a picture so let's change this to sc an scan so save it and this will provide some space from the right hand side so that looks pretty good so this is the entire chat application so this is the entire ui part of our chat application we have to build the other component but right now you can see that our default pages looks absolutely good user can put their questions and they can ask and these tabs are not working because we have some problem in the sidebar and we have to look at that and the rest is looking fine back in the form components let's close this one close this one and now let's do the inspect element and this is how it will look on a mobile device you can click nothing is happening and this is also nothing is happening in here so that looks good okay so it's looking good and here we are in the form components now let's have a look so this is the one so this one is for the pro member so if user have taken the membership then only will display this input field but we have to create one more for the free trial and thus we'll do that very easily we'll take another dynamic block we'll say if free trial is less or equal to four we're giving four free trials then we have to simply display the component so what we'll do is simply open this one and we need to take this entire component copy and paste here and paste here so this will be triggered when the free trial is over and right now you can see we have these two input fields because there is no data in our local storage that's why it's rendering this right so that's a very easy fix for the time we comment this out okay we comment this out and now you can have only one so we are going with the temporary solution but we're going to make it dynamic when we'll actually allow user to store the data in the local storage and make a request to our api looks good and we can come back here in the chatting form data we are done with that and index is looking fine sidebar is also done but we have some issue now we have to work on the model so user can click and it will open so let's start working on it so we have to import a couple of things we have to import the icon first and that's coming from the react icon slash font awesome and we'll take this font star and we'll take another one and that's also coming from the react item medium and this will be our close now we can simply remove this and we'll build our j6 it will have a class okay so let's remove this one take a div it will have a class called model it will have a rating model and will have a fate it will have a id called static back drop and then so that will take a div it will have a class called model dialog model call it die log center centered and inside that will take a div it will have a class called model content inside that will take a div it will have a class called model header in that we have to display our h1 we'll say model title font as in five and we'll assign an id to static back drop label and inside that will display our text called pro membership so that's the entire component now here we are getting some issues so i know what's the problem i have in the so this particular icon is coming from not font awesome okay so this is the problem so let's come here it's gonna be called a font awesome not s so that's the changes you have to do things are looking pretty fine but still the sidebars are not working okay let's build that let's code along with me we'll take a button it will have a class called button close it will have a type called button and it will have a data attribute called bs dismiss and we want to simply close it the model and we'll take this aerial label is gonna be close inside that we have to display our close icon it will have a class called mobile custom menu here we have to simply take a div it will have a class called model body inside that will take a paragraph will say six months plan inside that will take this Lawrence dummy data you can type your text and we can come here we'll take a paragraph and that will say only three matty so this is the plan we are promoting by default and we'll take a ul and we'll display some star reviews so we'll say star rating and in that it will have a data os and that will say fade up data 
OS duration is gonna be let's provide something like thousand and the last one is going to be the data OS delay that's going to be two and in that we have to display our icon so we'll take this dynamic array <laughs> not a dynamic hard code array and we'll simply render the same icon multiple time so let's return it we'll display this li and we'll display our icon fun star and this will render we want to display the five icon that's why we are taking this now we can come here we'll take a div it will have a class called model footer and it will have a button type button class model submit and we'll have margin zero data attribute will have let's call this miss and we'll call this model and inside that we have to call it upgrade so user can click and we can attach the like upgrade functionality here as well so it looks pretty good and if i click uh, okay nothing is happening but still we are building so click on that we are getting a couple of error in the terminal because of the smart contract we have not deployed you can see we are getting this error messages don't need to worry about that just focus on the ui component okay the click events are not taking place means there is something wrong in our sidebar and we're going to fix that in shortly just code along with me everything will make sense so this is the entire model component we have done and we have no issues in here so come back here close this one and now we can simply go back to the history one so let's come back here in the chat and here we have looked this you can see we are calling the model component here but somehow the model is not opening okay not a big deal we can fix that so come back here in the chatting this is the form and this is the model we have we are done with the sidebar here we have to do a couple of changes let's come here mm, let's come back to the history and let's quickly build that so let's write few codes in that okay after that we're going to fix the sidebar so let's import a couple of things from from react so we need to import the icons and that's coming from md and we'll call it medium paid write the gsx we'll take a div it will have a class called tab pan fade and it will have an id called history it will have a role called tab panel and it will have an aerial label by history it will have an index zero and that looks good inside that we'll take a div it will have a class called main wrapper padding zero inside that we'll take a div it will have a class called fixed header inside that we'll take a div it will have a class called deflex align item center and we'll have a gap to pixels inside that we'll assign a button and it will have a class called nav bar toggle and we'll have a d medium none and we'll have a d block inside that we, ha we have to assign a couple of more property to our button so we'll assign the button type then we'll assign come here we already built that so we have to simply copy that one so we have to take all of this property come here and that's what we have to simply paste here so here we have to do a little bit changes so this looks pretty good we have target this one will call main nav bar nav and this is the same thing we have to do and the rest would be fine so no problem here now we can take the our icon so we'll have a class called icon sax and it will have a data attribute to data icon and we have to call text align justify so that's the one we have now we can come here we'll take a anchor tag and we want to redirect to the home page it will have a class called logo icon deflex d medium none and inside that we'll take our image we have to get the logo so we have to get into the csv slash logo dot csv and we'll take a class called image fluid I believe that you guys got familiar with the structure which we are following okay so now let's take another one and let's take h3 and we'll say history looks good and let's come here we'll take another and this will be right to the home page and we'll say premium button we'll take data attribute to cursor 
and we'll have this particular pointer Sega icon and we have to assign a class called icon sax and we have to assign a data icon and that's going to be called cron2 we come down we'll take this icon called md paid and it will have a class so let's call it get premium inside a spam and looks pretty good so right now you can see everything's looking good we have no issues here we have the chat and here we have all the components so we can come here and here we have to do a couple of changes so i stopped the recording and i found that i made a little bit spelling mistake so these are the changes you have to do so instead of toggle el we have to say le <laughs> i hope you guys have noticed this particular issue so make sure to change this particular one in all the places so let's try to find out so here we have to do the changes so in this chat page we have to do the changes in twice so let's change this to li so this is the change you have to do and close this one come back to the sidebar and we have to do the changes here as well this will be li and this looks pretty good no they have only one here make sure to do this li le sorry <laughs> we have le here in the sidebar and we have to find out now we can come here and we have this so that's the changes we have to do in the chat bar on the sidebar now come back to the history and here we have to do the changes so here we have to say le and rest would be fine close this one and now we can come back here in the model and let's find out do we have to do the changes here okay let me find out no we don't have anything in okay i noticed this particular issue here so we have provided this twice so we have to say one a r i a come back here and let's do the same thing in the other component so i come back to the chat and let come back to the form we have here so remove this and save it that's the changes we have to do let's go to the sidebar and we have to change here as well in the sidebar and save it so it looks good that's the button and here we have to do the changes instead of ds we have to say bs yes so this is the change now come back to the chat and here we have to say bs not ds and save it come back to the sidebar that's fine and here we have to do in the history called bs and modem and this model is fine no changes need to be done here but still this is not working i have to see what's the problem i'm having so let me pause it for a while and let's try to find out that what error we have because of that our components are not displaying 